Hello, my friends. It's your friend Kevin, and welcome, 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 all of you. Uh, new subscribers, existing subscribers, you're all welcome here, and this is your card and message of the day. All right, so we're using the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle deck this week by Radley Valentine. These illustrations are by Echo Chernick. Um, we have pulled from Kyle Gray's The Divine Masters Oracle deck, Mayat. She is a, an Egyptian goddess who is here to weigh up all of our options and give us a lofty view of um, making choices that are for our own highest good. In other words, balancing out truth, balancing out justice, and balancing out the benefits of, of, of what we're looking at and our options. Uh, my essence for today is that gratitude is the engine and love is the fuel. And then I'm on my way, or I'm on the way, to another wonderful experience. We're all on the way to experiences. We're all on this journey walking together hand in hand network by network experience by experience we may as well be going to wonderful experiences who signs up for anything other than that All right so i've already done my prayer this morning i've got miss beatrice and uh, miss gertrude in the house so let's see how many times six okay one <laughs> two three four five six um by the way today is a five number and five is the number that talks about being visionary spiritual sensual adventurous like the explorer it's also the number of great what shuffled again it's always also the number of great change um the changes are coming we've talked about this a lot but when we have a five day notice what's changed Notice what comes up for you. Um, notice how you feel about future events. Um, notice how your soul is feel, feeling about waking up to new and exciting changes. So let's see. Do we want the top or do we want the bottom or do we want to fan them out and choose? I think we're fanning them out and choosing. So here's one I want right there in the middle. And it is stay the course. Oh, I like this too. All right. So... Um, what is message to stay the core? Okay, so take a look. This is about stepping back a little bit today, knowing, 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 knowing that you are in the mode of change. So we see here Archangel Michael is really showing you the horizon, showing you that the sun is really coming up. It's not going down. It's coming up on what's happening next. And we've got the birds that are in full and utter flight his sword of uh, light is tucked right down into his right hip, ready to move past anything that gets in the way. The message is don't panic. You're on the right path and you're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. This would be normally like a number two type of a day for when it comes to growth, stay in the course, sticking with it. But what I'm looking at here is the fact that all the way around us, I was just having a little um, thought about this this morning, all the way around us, everything changes, which means what most people do when they fall into the fear mode is um, pull back and pull in and shut off. It's a bit like um, uh, the fear causes us to hold our breath, clench our jaw, um, and the mind goes to something in our experience that we know has happened recently that caused something else, caused something else, caused something else, caused something else. That's not the, That's not what's going on right now. If you are in that feeling of fear or excitement, notice that your neuropathways, your um, uh, emotional responses are about the same. 
fear and excitement are all exercises. And what am I wanting to look for? Those um, the nerve endings where they like ooh, you get those same feelings. Um, so what I feel like with this card, interesting that two and nine adds up to an eleven. But this card is really about awakening your soul. And Maya is here to say, take a broader look at the horizon and really wake up your soul to say, is it really that bad? Is it really that terrible? Or are you just anticipating something's happening and you're a little bit worried about you don't know what? We can all dip our toe in control. We all want that control. We all want to know what the outcome is. You know, if you went into a... a, a, a <laughs> okay, Gertrude, she's here with this silly-ism thing. If you, <laughs> she said, if you went into a pastry shop and you didn't know what the filling was in the donut, would you buy it? Some people would say, yes, I want to see what it is. And some people would say, no, I'm not, I'm not buying it. Which is really kind of interesting to look at the fact that you could see all these glazed danishes or donuts or what have you, and they're all filled with something. Some of it's filled with lemon, some of it's filled with chocolate, some of it's filled with cream, some of it's filled with jelly, but you don't know what's inside what. Would you choose it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's the quandary of the day. But the whole message here is continue to pay attention to any obstacles that are getting in your way and the obstacles can come from the mind. Turn the mind mess off. Look up above, look up and around, look future. The universe is not and the universe is not trying to tell you to give up and don't do it just to take a temporary step back. Let the changes fall into place and be part of the movement forward. Keep moving forward and know that this sword of light that he's got right here will illuminate whatever you need and cut past any uh, blocks that come along. I think, let me go over to this one. There you go. Um, Beatrice is saying, let me get this right because she she talks a mile a minute here. Um she's saying you got this far you got this far navigating and moving through the changes of your life and you did it really really well don't look at it like there's a pothole over here i've got to wash out for it it's really about slowing down the negative thinking so that the flow can happen oh this goes back to what i was saying yesterday about how sometimes our doubts and our fears are like breaks and they break the flow. Um, if you've got an idea and you've got them, they're coming. They're going ping, 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 ping. Ideas of expansion, ideas of change, ideas of lifting and doing something more and filling your day with incredible things. It, ooh, I can go, this brings on a momentum. When that momentum gets going and really gets going, it can pull you into some stuff right so is the momentum that you have got going going a bit too quick for you and you're like i gotta i gotta kind of slow up this little bit are you now thinking like for example um perfect example i like to think that from right after halloween to right before valentine's things are just not going in a flow that would be considered forward forward moving makes sense you know because the holidays because people change their thoughts and their plans and everyone's coming at once and then we get to somewhere around now three fourth week of january and everybody wants to just go woo, push this express train forward it takes a bit to get that momentum built up we're also coming up on a full moon this full moon is in the sign of Aquarius, I believe. We're moving into that, yep. Um, and it's time to lay the plans that we've been making with the new moon energy and the seeds that we planted, lay them out, put them forward and say, here, what are we, what are we sending up? And of course, you know, then we discard the things that get in the way. We put out what we want. We're putting out our dreams and wishes. We're planting the seeds in good fertile soil. This is the part where we let that stuff germinate. 
we let the flow happen and we let the change come along we stay the course we take a higher look we look through the details we look through what is it like tomorrow is going to be a six day that's paying attention to the details do i need to change some of the roadmap do i need to change the priority do i need to offload some things that need to be offloaded this is all part of being in that flow of change not stopping because we've come up against something we weren't expecting i love to expect the unexpected i really do it's like a surprise i'm not looking for something awful to happen terrible to happen i'm looking for something that validates what is coming up for me next the confirmation that staying the course and sticking with it you know, we get these feelings in our belly. Our solar plexus is so powerful. It teaches us what we need to know. Like, that's where all the nerve endings are going. We digest food in there. We've got all our major organs in there. There's a lot happening in the solar plexus. But it's also where the powerhouse is. And the powerhouse can teach us quite a bit. Can teach us, we need to eliminate this. And typically, physically, whoop, we do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you get that nervousness i gotta go pee right <laughs> yeah you have to let go of some stuff that's getting in the way anyway i digress i hope you have the best of days today and i hope that you stick with whatever course you've got going on and that you then like celebrate i stuck with it i didn't give up i didn't just say to hell with it this is not going to work i did it i did it i did it i'm doing it and i'm crushing it uh, I am scratching my hand, not because I got something on there, but because <laughs> this morning I woke up super, super early and I decided to make some bread. <laughs> so I've got kind of dough between my fingertips. Anyway, I digress. Listen, I love you. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day until tomorrow. Bye for now. Hey everybody, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.